Yeah, that's still required. The Civil Rights Act of 1964, oh, you can't... Oh, oh yeah, oh boy, civil rights, yeah. I need distance here, okay? See this then don't get feet? in my face, sir. This I literally have hundreds of police officers in here without their masks on. I have the mayor walking in the front door without her mask on. You'll either need to wear a mask to enter, or you'll, or you'll need to exit the building, please. Just got a call from the PBDS 60GM Associate Director requesting assistance unwanted party at the entrance. I'm sure you did your usual and told them I was harassing and that's what I like to do and all that crap, saying I'm doing something illegal and I'm doing something protected by the Constitution. Do you think that's not a violation of privacy? Two more vehicle accidents. signs aren't taken down yet. Hey, uh, can I speak to the supervisor, please? Absolutely. Hold on one second, all right? Appreciate that. It's kind of tough, isn't it? How you doing? Great. Could you get your name and badge, please? Scott at 107. Lieutenant. Thank you. Um, so I, I asked for a supervisor out there in the field, but uh, Sakad told me I should come here and speak to someone. All right. Uh, so I was at the PBD Essex Museum, and uh, they told me I couldn't enter without a mask per their policy, but um, their policy is not by law is not supposed to override any part of civil rights or the law itself. Um, they don't have any mass ex exemptions and um, you guys you guys as police are supposed to uphold the constitution and inform them that they cannot be, be violating our civil rights. Uh, Sicard went in the back door, snuck in the back door away from me uh, so he wouldn't have to speak to me. Although he's probably going to put my name in the police report, which he shouldn't, because that would be a violation of my privacy. Uh, making my name, there he is, making my name uh, public record, uh, like he did last time. Uh, he hasn't been informed that he shouldn't be doing that. So uh, I would like something, I would actually like some complaint forms, at least three, please. And um, I'd like to know why are, do you guys still not understand civil rights in the Constitution that you're supposed to uphold? What do you mean we don't understand the civil rights? What part are you saying? Uh, so, Civil Rights Act of 1964. Yeah, but what, what, do, what do we not understand? The part of the museum or the part of putting your name in the report? Uh, my name in the report, uh, that filming is okay from public. Uh, hold on. The filming is okay from public. Yeah. Did you call us? Did I call you guys? Who called us to come down to the... They called on me. Okay, well, that's standard operating procedure. You go in, if they called on you, we put you in the report. Is that no, that... You, I didn't give him my information, so how would he put me in the report? Because we know you. It does, you can't do that. Oh, well, we did it. You can't do that. Okay, well, with that, you file your complaint with the captain. I'll get you your paperwork. But. Well, I'm going to file with the, with the chief. You guys cannot violate my rights by putting me in public record when I didn't give you my information. All right. That's, I'm, I'm supposed to be secure in my papers, person, and my uh, place, okay, my place of living. So you just don't give a shit? No, I didn't say that. But yeah, you know, I mean, your attitude is showing it. I, I'm, sir, I don't have an attitude. Yes, you I'm do. You yes, you do. It's not facts. So the other thing about your policy, the again, again, your policy cannot override my, my right to privacy. All right, and you can file a complaint with that. So can I have the complaints, please? Yes, uh, but in reference to the museum part of it, I mean, they're a private entity. If they were, they're not. They're not a private they're, entity. They're funded by the public, and they take federal grants. Okay. And it's a public accommodation. Whether you're a private business or not, once you open your doors to the public, you are now a public accommodation and all civil rights have to be, uh, people have to be able to exercise their civil rights within that business. But, but you're upset because they asked you to wear a mask? I'm not upset that they, they discriminated against me because hundreds of you guys were all in that same exact building with your masks off on June 8th. Right. From the swearing in. And the night 
night before for practice, we were ordered to wear masks, and I didn't complain at all. We wore masks. It, it, it doesn't cool. matter. You have to follow orders. I don't. I'm a free citizen. Okay. You, don't, you have to follow policy. You can't dress a certain way. You can't say certain things. You can't do certain things. You sign away your rights once you become a police officer. Okay. So you want to uh, complain for that as well? I want, I want at least three complaint forms. Okay, hold on a second. You really think go. you really think that's okay just because you know someone you can put them in a police report? You have a good night, Mr. Matthews. You're gonna walk away? Wow, you guys are so unprofessional. They still need work. They still need work. God, just w just wondering. Do you really think it's necessary to put someone that's abiding by the Can law to put them, their personal information in a police report? Do you think that's not a violation of privacy? That doesn't matter. I'm talking to you. So you just you're not going to answer me? No. The chief's going to speak to you about it because that's a violation of my privacy. And you're open for a lawsuit, I'm just letting you know that right now, personally. And it will be filed. It will be filed. I have up to three years to file it, and it will be filed. It's a straight violation. Adding in details like I asked for donations, which is false. <laughs> what does that have to do with the law? Don't act like they're friend. I accept donations, but I do not beg for donations. People ask where they can donate, and I let them know, but I do not ask or beg for them. Hold up. So let you know, buddy, shouldn't be adding in people that have not broken the law or that haven't given you their information personally. If you know somebody that has, gives you no right to put their personal information into public record, you can't do it. It's a violation of rights. You guys will learn really soon and really quick, especially with a new chief that actually is going to do something about it. Guys, I'm back here at the PBD Essex Museum. So 
so a little different here. Yeah? There's not a sign that says masks are mandatory in here. As you guys can see, they are only open from Thursday to Sunday, and last time I was here was on Friday the 25th, so this is only the third business day after I visited. I was here last uh, Friday, I believe it was, the 25th. This is the first time they've opened since uh, <clears throat> the weekend of my running, and they already changed the mask policy, so I'm going to go in and see uh, if I can get in there. Let's see. Good. Um, so you guys don't have the mask policy anymore? No, we just left. All right, cool. So uh, we still have to buy the entrance. All right, I'll do that real quick. So I bought one. Well, I'm a uh, Salem resident. All right, thank you. Appreciate that. All right, so we got the uh, auditorium here. This is the area in which the uh, they had the um, swearing in for the chief. This area here. The stage was right there where the chief was sworn in. There's this guy behind here. He was warned about me when I came in. So there was about a hundred or so these guys filming too. There's about a hundred or so um, police officers, maybe even more, all in here without their masks on. It was, uh, let's see, it was on the 8th, so this is pretty cool. It was on the 8th, and then um, I tried getting in the 25th. They wouldn't let me in with no mask. And now we are on the, at the 1st of July, and um, strangely enough, the mask mandate has been lifted. I'm not gonna go too far, I just wanted to prove I can get in here. So, um, that's all I was really doing, just proving. This kid's filming too. Watch him try to say something to me. It's pretty cool. All that side is the walkway.
Alright guys, I'm gonna walk out of here in a minute. Just wanted to prove I can get in. Wanted to show you guys that uh, if you really flex your rights, you know the laws. Especially when it comes to discrimination and the Civil Rights Act of 1964. And um, conspiracy to violate rights. And deprivation of rights. If you know all of these different laws and you flex on them, things will change. I'm not going to let up on them though because I'm learning how to file um, civil suits myself. So I won't need a lawyer and I'm filing on everyone I can. Hey, there's a the guy that wouldn't let me in before. What do you know? He's got it. <laughs> Glad I saw my old friend. The Civil Rights Act of 1964, oh, you can't... Oh yeah, oh boy, civil rights, yeah. I need distance here, okay? See this then don't get in feet? my face, sir. Glad I saw my old friend. Alright guys, I'm out of here. Just want to prove I can get in here. I don't want to waste any more time you guys. I can come in whenever I want. Thank you guys, have a good day. Probably 70, 80 feet tall in here. It's very cool shaped over there. All right guys, hope you enjoyed that. I knew it wasn't gonna end how they wanted it. Alright guys, it's very cloudy here today. It's been really hot. It's gonna be raining soon. Hope you all have a great day. Much love. Respect. And appreciation.